We also spoke with Representative Caldwell about a fellow state rep whose family is under investigation by the state. There are still a lot of unanswered questions as to why the State Department of Children and Families is investigating Heather Fitzenhagen's family. Four in the corners, Lisa Greenberg live in the studio with what she found out. Lisa? Well, Patrick, we do know the DCF still has an active investigation into the Fitzenhagen family. State statute allows an investigator 60 days to submit a case for closure, and it's been more than 40 since the investigation into the family started, and still so many unanswered questions. Silence at State Representative Heather Fitzenhagen's home as I stopped by in search of answers. The DCF is still investigating the family, and Fitzenhagen has been noticeably silent on social media, too. Posting on Twitter and Facebook last Friday for the first time in exactly a month. The state representative also supposed to stand alongside fellow reps Dane Eagle, Ray Rodriguez, and Matt Caldwell at a real estate investment society luncheon earlier this month but didn't show. So where has she been since the DCF launched its investigation? When no one answered the door, I picked up the phone, calling her Capitol office. I'd like to speak to State Representative Heather Fitzenhagen. Her legislative aide, Edward Metzger, gave me this statement. Quote, the reason Mrs. Fitzenhagen hasn't been around doesn't have to do with the situation directly. She's taking personal time off she had planned after the legislative session. She is still in the loop and taking care of her constituents. I also reached out to Fitzenhagen's office in Fort Myers. Her aide there tells me she's out of town right now and that Fitzenhagen wasn't at the Real Estate Investment Society luncheon because the weather delayed her flight back to Florida. She also says Fitzenhagen did have a district aide at the event. Meanwhile, State Representative Matt Caldwell tells me off camera, quote, whatever the situation is, each one of us has to make the decision of if we can balance family life and and political life. Fitzenhagen's legislative aide says she'll be back in Tallahassee by June 1st for the special session and looks forward to continuing her work for District 78. I'll keep working to get you answers on the investigation and get back to you as soon as I have them. In the studio, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Lisa.